What's going on guys? Hey, uh, well, the start of my video got erased somehow. So, uh, but the, the most important part is still there. And uh, I wanted to let you guys know that in this video, I'm prepping to get ready for aerations. Hey, and by the way, what do you think, man? Petra sent me a new t-shirt. Rock on, Petra. Thank you so much. You guys are awesome. And uh, if you guys don't know, you can save 10% at Petra with the code DLT Lawn Care somewhere up here. Anyway, hope you enjoy this video. Sorry I didn't get the beginning of it out there in the field but uh i hope you guys like it i hope you learned something see you in a few I'm gonna get this one done and then I'll show you an after view but I'll show you a little quick uh, stripe action here there's the stripes looking good and the number one thing I do when I prep a yard for aeration is I always cut about a quarter inch lower than I normally cut I wouldn't do that if I'm just aerating, but I'm definitely do it, doing it if I'm putting seed down. So uh, let me finish this up. I'll be back with you guys. All right, guys. So there it is. When I'm done, looks pretty good, but he does have army worms. He just had it treated. I will be uh, putting some seed down this weekend. Not a whole lot. But uh, like I said, when you're going to put seed down, you want to go a little bit lower on the cut. And uh, another thing you have to worry about is when you're aerating, make sure you let people know if they have a dog fence that has to be marked. Any uh, sprinkler heads have to be marked before you can come out and aerate. It's going to make it a lot easier on you. You're not going to have to go back and fix uh, sprinkler heads. It's going to save you time and money. And uh, make sure you know where the water pipe cap is. Don't run over. 
over those with your aerator, you will snap a you will snap a tine off really fast. So, uh, whew, I got three left. I'll tell you what, it's a lot hotter than I expected today. It's going to be 86. So, uh, not what I expected to come out into. But uh, it is what it is. You got to do what you got to do. So, I'll probably get a little bit of footage at this next one for you and then we'll talk a little bit more about you know what kind of seed do you use I'll tell you what kind of seed we use or what I use um, Scott's is always a good seed to use but I still believe you need a starter fertilizer with it um, anyway we'll talk a little bit let's get this next one done I don't know if you guys could tell but that backyard has got army worm damage as well and uh, I'm gonna have to let that customer know unfortunately she's in the hospital today having a procedure so I'm really praying for her that she'll be all right um, one thing when you're aerating you have to do when you guys are done at the end of the day clean the tines out because you don't want to take and what I try to do is I try to keep all of my more pristine yards for the same day and all the weedy type yards for another day you don't want to get that mixed in it will cross contaminate so if you can in between yards get you a screwdriver and get those plugs out of there a lot of people will say you don't that's not necessary I've done this long enough to know you can cross contaminate a yard with somebody else's weeds just like you can on the deck of a mower it's the same thing so make sure you're cleaning that aerator well if you have a stand on aerator make sure you're lubing those chains up every day you're done clean that thing up well get ready for the next day um, usually on an existing yard I like to go two to three pounds per thousand square feet you guys may say different and if it is let me know if something works better for you let me know I'm not the be-all end-all I don't know everything out here and uh, I count on you guys and your comments a lot to teach me so I just know what's worked for me for the last 12 years 
and you know it'll work for you as well I think but like I say we're all doing different types of grass so not everything is the same a lot of you guys cut at two two and a half inches um, we're cutting at three and three quarter and four here even now so uh, anyway let me finish this up and I'll get back with you guys all right guys last yard of the day and I got to push mow the back so I gotta go inside the gate there push mow the back but anyway the last thing before you get ready for aeration you want to make sure that the yard is without disease make sure they've treated for army worms at least a couple days before you aerate and overseed uh, if there's chinch bug anything like that make sure that's all been treated for before you aerate and overseed you don't and make sure that if they have a company that fertilizes for them they put nothing down until that seed has germinated you will kill seed faster than anything if you put anything down on that so hope those things help you guys today and uh if you have any questions about aerations let me know um like i said i don't know everything hopefully you guys will have some stuff that works for you i'm not gonna do lime i'll never do lime i know you can upcharge on it and all that but it's not something i want to mess with so anyway guys as always dr real was in the house keep it real i'll see you guys tomorrow i gotta get this done peace